What's up, boot campers? Welcome to today's presentation about how to write a powerful personal statement with DAT Bootcamp. My name is Alex. I'll be your host for today. Let's get right into it. Firstly, what is the personal statement? The personal statement is a one page essay, 4,500 characters, including spaces. It answers the question of why dentistry and it highlights your journey to choosing this career path. You didn't just wake up one morning and say, today I feel like becoming a dentist. There's some sort of methodology or some sort of decision process that took place. So now you're going to walk someone else through it. It's going to highlight some of your achievements. It's going to give insight into your personality, any of your characteristics. And also it's going to give insight into your future aspirations, your future goals. Perhaps you can include what you're going to contribute to the dental field, right? If you can do all that, you're going to have a powerful personal statement. So the first step on how to begin is we're going to ask ourselves this question. What aspects of dentistry are attractive to me? Think about it, okay? Perhaps the fact that dentistry is very artistic. Maybe you like the fact that there's a lot of interacting and relationship formation in dentistry. Maybe you like the fact that it's science-based. Dentistry has a huge manual dexterity component in it, and so if that's something that appeals to you, you could talk about that. Maybe the business aspect of dentistry appeals to you. Maybe you like the fact that dentistry is very innovative. There's a lot of problem solving involved in this. Maybe you like the fact that it's in healthcare, and if that's something that appeals to you, talk about it. Let's move on to the next step. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a list of possible experiences that we can use in our personal statement. Experiences like shadowing, volunteering, athletics, extracurricular activities, any work experience that we have, any research we are part of, any hobbies that we have. And when we're doing this, we're going to have an experience description, the roles, responsibilities, and skills that were involved in that experience, what we learned, what we improved upon, any interesting cases that we saw in our shadowing experience, we're going to make note of. And so by doing this, you sort of kill two birds with one stone as you're essentially filling out the experiences section on the AdSAS application. All right, let's move forward. After we've done that, now let's make a list of any accomplishments that we had. We'll be on the Dean's Honor Roll, any scholarships we received, maybe we were published, any competitions that we won, any awards that we were given, right? Think about that. Also make a list of them and include them. From there, we're going to think about the personal statement as a journey towards dentistry, right? Maybe we want to incorporate some defining moments, right? Maybe you had a defining moment with an orthodontist when you had braces and then it changed the way you uh, see yourself. It boosted your confidence. Maybe you had an, a defining moment with an oral surgeon or a general dentist. Were there any sparks along your journey? Think about it and then write it down as well. Some things to consider when we are writing the personal statement is the primacy and recency effect, right? You want to have that strong hook and that strong ending or some sort of a unique story. And by doing that, you're gonna stay memorable because people usually remember the first and last thing that they see. Also, you wanna be genuine and show passion. Avoid any cliches, be real and honest. The people who are reading your personal statement have read hundreds if not thousands of personal statements. And so they'll know when someone is being dishonest. So just keep that in mind. So a quick recap of what we just did, right? So first we ask ourselves the question of what attracts us to dentistry. Then we're going to make a list of any experiences that we can include in our personal statement. Dentistry specific experiences are going to be great. So if you're a dental assistant or you held some other position at the dental office, that's going to be important to keep in mind as well. We're going to list our accomplishments, any defining moments that we had along our journey. We're going to list those out as well. And we're going to think about having that strong, and that, uh, that strong hook and that strong ending to ensure that we stay memorable. And so if we think of the... The personal statement as a puzzle right now we took the puzzle out and we're laying it on the ground right we're spreading everything out just to see what we have right we're, we're sort of uh, brainstorming some experiences accomplishments all that right and so now what we're going to do is we're going to try to put some pieces together and try to see if we can brainstorm any connections all right let's go on so brainstorming connections and themes right so perhaps dance was one of your experiences or painting or drawing and so that's very artistic and so maybe you want to somehow connect dance and painting and drawing to the artistic side of dentistry. Maybe you had work experience and you were in customer service and you really like the fact that there's a lot of uh, personal interaction. Or maybe you were doing some volunteering, you were tutoring and you really like that relationship formation. Maybe you're taking a lot of science courses or maybe your whole undergrad is based in the biomedical sciences and so dentistry is science-based and you're taking science courses. It would make sense to go into dentistry because that's obviously something that you like to do. Talk about it. Maybe, the, maybe you took some woodshop classes, maybe you were in engineering, maybe you were a mechanic at one point, maybe you were a part of sports. There's the manual dexterity uh, component of dentistry that you could talk about. Maybe you started a company, maybe you were a manager, or you were in some sort of a leadership position at a club. There's the business aspect of dentistry that you can incorporate into your personal statement. Maybe you had some sort of invention, or you were part of research. There's the innovation and problem solving aspect. Maybe you like the fact that dentistry is in healthcare, and so healthcare is very diverse, it's always changing, it's something that you find fulfilling. Talk about it. Okay. 
Now let's go on to talk a little bit about the framework of the personal statement. So essentially you're gonna have an introductory paragraph with your hook or some sort of a unique story. Then we're gonna move on to the body paragraphs and those are gonna have your experiences, accomplishments, your shadowing and volunteering experience, etc. that you can include here. And then your conclusion paragraph is gonna have some sort of a theme connection. Maybe you're gonna offer some insight into your future goals. Essentially what we're trying to do is we're, gonna, we're trying to leave them wanting more. We want the ad comms to read our personal statement and say, wow, this person is interesting. I want to I want to find out a little bit more. Let's invite him for that interview. That's the main goal here. So let's dive deeper into the introductory paragraph. So perhaps you want to think about having some sort of early childhood experience, and then you're going to make a connection to dentistry. So here's something that I could have used for my personal statement. I wrote, from a young age, I enjoyed invention and creation. You would constantly catch me playing with Lego blocks, building tree houses, and exploring the world. It wasn't until the seventh grade that I was introduced to woodworking. I would spend all my lunch breaks working on projects in the shop. I loved it. Fast forward several years to grade 10, my passion remained. Design plans would be all over the floor and my room became ever filled with model planes, model cars, and musical instruments. As I matured and began to explore my future career options, I explored several different fields. However, dentistry captured my attention. So you can see where I'm going with this. I can expand about the manual dexterity involvement uh, of uh, dentistry. I could talk about the artistic side of dentistry. And so that's the theme that I'm gonna carry on throughout my personal statement. And here's actually a model plane that I built when I was in the grade 10, right? And so I used the bandsaw to carve a lot of these pieces out. And that's just something I really enjoy. Anyways, let's, let's move on to the body paragraphs. So in the body paragraphs, maybe we, we want to start talking about the spark, that first memorable encounter with a dentist that we had, or some other spark that you can think of. Maybe you want to talk about uh, what separates dentistry from other fields. Remember, dentistry is so diverse. You can go into academics, into a number of specialties. You can go into research, right? And dentistry encompasses a lot of the same qualities and skills as other fields. Remember, you want to think about the science-based aspect, the interpersonal skills, the manual dexterity uh, component. Maybe you want to say something along the lines of, well, I explored physiotherapy and I explored medicine and then I explored dentistry. And what I saw is that all three of these fields have that interpersonal skills. And they're all science-based, but what really stood out to me in dentistry was the manual dexterity component. And you can go along with that way. Maybe you want to talk about the shadowing and volunteering experiences that you had, right? And when you're doing this, be specific, give examples. What did you see? What did you learn? What kind of unique cases uh, th th did you see, right? So talk about that and be specific. This is what's going to separate you, you from everyone else. And show your personality, three qualities you possess. Don't just say something like, uh, I'm a hardworking person. Why don't you say something along the, the long, along the lines of, while I was an undergrad, I volunteered at the hospital. I also um, managed the club and I also maintained a high academic standing. Right? That shows that, okay, this person has time management, they're hardworking, instead of just saying that you're hardworking, okay? Also, you may want to think about highlighting some of your achievements, where appropriate, of course. Now let's move on to the conclusion paragraph. So we want to think about having that strong conclusion, right? We're going to have that connection to the theme that we had, and we maybe want to incorporate what can we contribute to the field. So here's a conclusion that I could have followed up with uh, based on my introductory paragraph. I could write, Watching the dentist work with different hand pieces and utilizing different machines reminded me of the days in the wood shop. However, instead of building wooden planes as a hobby or wooden models as a hobby, dentistry would allow me to better the lives of my patients. I could picture myself restoring the oral cavity through innovative techniques. And then I can expand on that a little bit more. And then I can end it on a high note by saying, I'm looking for a dental school that will further my knowledge and skills and stimulate me to become a leader in the dental field, right? Dental schools are looking for leaders. If you're going to be a dentist, you're going to be the leader of a team, right? So that quality of leadership is important. And you, maybe you want to incorporate that somewhere in your personal statement. So a few things to keep in mind as you're going about things. Remember that your personal statement is a story. Maybe you want to have that theme connection. For me, it was that woodshop theme that I went with. And I could talk about, and I could talk about that manual dexterity involvement. Talk about the impact you made in your experiences and focus on yourself. Don't go into too much detail about other people or the dentist. Some things to avoid is too much fluff. Get to the point. Don't keep reiterating the same point over and over again. You only have realistically a page to talk about yourself. And so you want to sell yourself the best way possible. And don't just be summarizing your experiences. Don't just take a whole bunch of experiences, throw them in there. Remember, it's a story. There has to be some kind of theme and it should flow. So if your theme is community service, go with that. Or if your theme is manual dexterity, go with that. And don't be plain and boring. And you can, do, and you can avoid this simply by including your own personal anecdotes, those stories. That's what's going to separate you. You can use rhetorical devices as well. Just a few things to keep in mind. A few more tips that I can give you is perhaps if you're still having trouble starting the personal statement, maybe you want to brainstorm a different idea of why dentistry every single day for a couple of weeks. So every time you or every day that you wake up in the morning, as you're brushing your teeth, ask yourself why dentistry. 
And if you can do that for two weeks, now you got 14 reasons of why you want to do dentistry. And so now you have a lot more to talk about. Maybe you want to begin writing and just make changes until you have something concrete. Start with the body paragraph. Start with your shadowing experience, maybe that first memorable encounter. And then when you have something more concrete and you're getting into the flow, you can go to the introductory paragraph and the conclusion paragraph and sort of connect everything together. Remember, there's going to be a lot of editing along the way. My personal statement had like 20 edits involved. And so there's just, that's just part of the process. And to get some editing help, you can look to your network, your professors, peers, parents, siblings. Those are people that can give you some great feedback. Maybe you want to go to the library. I know some librarians offer these sort of... Um, uh, writing workshops or something along those lines they can edit your personal statement maybe I, obviously a writing center at your university is going to be able to help you out as well so these are just a few tips that you want to keep in mind so thank you very much for listening to this presentation from dat bootcamp